Yo guys what is up John is here in today's video we're going to go over the crashing issues of the new game Call of Duty Modern Warfare that is occurring actually on PC. So this video is, speci is specialized for PC errors. If you have an error of crashing occurring on your console for Xbox for example I have already done a video for that and it will be linked in the description. But without further introduction let's start with the topic of this video. So the first fix that you have to try is to run your game as an administrator. This will give all the privileges on your PC for your game and it could help you fix your issues. If not, the second thing to do is to make sure that your drivers, your graphics style drivers are up to date and are working properly. So in order to do that, you're going to have to go to your control panel, go to your device manager and from here you'll be able to see your um, graphic drivers, your display drivers and you're gonna go ahead and right click on the driver and choose update driver now for me my drivers are, are already up to date because i did because uh, i did update them um, not, not a while ago but if this if you also have your graphic uh, drivers and uh, disk drivers up to date you can go ahead and go in the link in the description i have two links one for nvidia and one for radian so you're gonna go ahead and choose uh, which one according to your graphic card. For example, I have an NVIDIA graphic driver or a graphic card. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the latest update uh, from the website and then I can manually install it uh, on my um, computer or you can use, I know for NVIDIA you can use the GeForce Experience. I have this application, uh, GeForce GTX from NVIDIA. It's an application I have on my laptop and I can use it in order to update my graphic drivers. So you, this is the method that you have to do. Uh, now the third thing that I would recommend, if none of these uh, two actually work, are to check that your both softwares that are the DirectX 12 and the Microsoft Visual C++ 2017 are actually working and up to date. So these are the minimum requirements for your game to actually be able to run on your um, on your uh, uh, PC. So when you go to your programs from the control panel, you go to program files, you see the ones that are installed on your PC or your laptop or whatever. You're going to go ahead and make sure that you have Microsoft C++ Visual 2017 and DirectX Direct 12 that are installed correctly and you can try to reinstall them or repair, repair them just in case. Now if you've done all, the, all of those fixes, and you are sure that none of your drivers are damaged, none of your uh, GPU, CPU, or, you, or you're sure that nothing is, um, is wrong with your PC. It might be just the fact that your PC is not really set up uh, or is like, strong enough for it to be working, uh, to let the game work properly on the highest settings. So these are some things that the community suggested, suggested to fix and to do. For example, the first thing you have you can try is every time that you start the game, you go to the graphic settings in Call of Duty and then you restart the shaders installation and it could help you fix your issue. Another thing is actually uh, due to uh, sometimes having an RTX uh, graphic card which is quite strong and powerful but it also can uh, induce an error so make sure that you have it working properly and uh, you can reset it this could work also it worked for one one person in the community now uh, sometimes the problem occurs when you're getting like a black screen and the green and the game is freezing and reinstalling the shaders is not the fix so what you can do is to turn off both options to cache shaders and shadows and cap your frames at a lower frame per second, for example, like 50. Because on some PCs you can have a huge fluctua fluctuations of frames per second, this could cause the screen to start to like, you can notice some choppiness and you can start notice some crashing. So also limiting your frame per second to somewhere around 50 or 60 frames per second uh, can help you temporarily fix your crashing issues until Call of Duty comes up with a new fix that should be able to fix the crashing error since most of the times those errors are fixed by patches released from the game developers themselves. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And also let us know if this worked for you and if it did, 
how did how you were able to fix it like which method worked for you and if you came up with your own method please share it in the comments down below as well because it helps others tremendously so uh, yeah this is it for this video i hope this can help you fix your crashing issues because it's very frustrating while playing the game and i'll see you in my next video peace